technology now. Uh, we've got a question from Hugh Cameron. I have two questions <coughs> from the panel generally. What actually happens in heaven day by day? And <laughs> should there be such a place, can you be expelled from heaven? Mark Coleridge. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Uh, what go well, first of all, there's no time in heaven. We're caught up in eternity now. Isn't that tough? Uh, what happens, I, I imagine heaven, and heaven's hard to imagine. Hell's far easier. You've only got to read Milton to see that. Uh, I imagine it is, it's, it's perfectly knowing not only God but everyone who's ever existed and knowing mm. them in a way that is perfect love. Now, if you, if you love one person in life, it's enough to... To, to galvanise a whole life, but, but to, to, to perfectly love and be loved by everyone who's ever existed. I mean, who wouldn't want that? that that's as I imagine heaven. Can you be... So, do you have a personality um, in heaven, do you suppose? What's the current church yeah, I, teaching I on whether you retain your personality? The church doesn't have a teaching on personality in heaven, you might be surprised to learn. Mm. But I think, yes, we, we remain the person that we are even with a body in some sense. I mean, that sounds weird, doesn't it? But Jesus, when he rises from the dead, has a body. He's not just a spirit. So there's some kind of bodily reality. Don't ask me what it is. I don't know. So, so just a quick question, yeah. then, because the other part of that was, can you be expelled? Yeah. And, uh, and the other quick answer to that is, no, you can't be, because once you're perfectly in love, in love there's no desire to leave and there's no way of being booted out. But if out. you retain your personality, you would retain, for example, impure thoughts. No, you don't. You've got beyond all of that. Oh. Even the Buddha teaches you that, yeah. Tony. <laughs> no <laughs> impure thoughts in heaven. Let's find out. <laughs> Does everybody get to drive a really great car? In you heaven? can, Deborah, if yeah. you want. Okay. Just... <laughs> I don't know whether you've just rewritten theology there no, or no, well, just I... creating a very large this, car dealership. The... <laughs> I just think heaven sounds Because there's quite no traffic jams out there. No. Yeah. Um, let's hear the Buddha. Is there, a, there isn't a Buddhist version of heaven, is there? Because it doesn't Listen, exist. Listen, Buddhists has got, I mean, from the big picture point of view, Buddhists have an amazing worldview, but I'm kind of bored talking about it. I'd rather talk about down to earth and be and find the common ground between it all. I just find it like Yeah, but the, the, qu the question has been asked. Is there a Buddhist is there a Buddhist heaven? Buddha asserts a whole many realms of existence and they're all mental states created by those beings. Is Nirvana Nirvana's a state word state of enlightenment, is that mm. is that also a kind of heaven? No no no. It's it's like what he said. The state of being of going beyond. Buddha would say that all the delusions and neuroses in our mind are adventitious, which means they're not at the core of our being. And so the job of being a Buddhist is working on yourself day by day, perfecting your consciousness. I mean, I think it's a bit of a shocking state. If you go to a therapist and ask them to get rid of all ego and all neurosis and all anger and all jealousy, they'd be quite shocked. But this is what Buddha's asserting. And so the, a statement, the, the achievement of your nirvana is that, that the achievement of your own perfection. Which is, can be in the human body. It can Muhammad, be any time. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Well, Muhammad, is there, a, 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 well, is there an Islamic, a fully fleshed Islamic version of heaven? Absolutely. I mean, the idea that heaven exists, it's part of the Islamic worldview. But I think a more important question is if there is a heaven and it's something to do with metaphysics, it's the unseen, how would we know about it? And that links to the question of a creator. If there is a creator, and we believe there is, and he has created heaven, then he, should he not tell us what heaven is like? Otherwise, we'll be making our minds about what heaven is. Everybody will, will be using his own rational reasoning to come up to some form of what paradise may look like, or heaven, based on his own or her own experiences. So what Islam says, no one has the right to talk about what heaven is or what it is not, unless you have evidence. So what is the evidence? that there is heaven? What is the evidence that what does it look like? What is in heaven? And so in the Islamic worldview, the Islamic scripture uh, provides ample evidence as to what is heaven, who or what type of life will be in heaven, and what type of enjoyments, if you like, they will be in heaven. And once people are in heaven, Tony, no, they will not come out of heaven. And heaven, the important thing about heaven is that it's the man manifestation of God's mercy, God's compassion. And we must not limit the idea that it's only those who believe, for instance, it's not only a Muslim in this instance who may enter heaven, but the Islamic worldview says anyone who believed in any of the prophets and the messengers 
that God sent to humanity. And there would be, according to the Islamic narrative, 124,000 prophets and messengers. The, uh, the first people of this country may have received a prophet. And we would have no problem in believing that. So, so anyway, Briefly, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you there just to go back to, yeah. the, to the original part. What happens in heaven? I mean, uh, do people exist as personalities? Is, are there rivers, lakes, Absolute. you know, all that, in, in the Islamic heaven? What is there? Uh, yes, it's a, the unanimous view of Muslim scholars is that people will live a physical life. They will be totally pure. There will be no uh, impurities in their thoughts or in their lives. There will be no backbiting and no slandering, no enmity, no animosity. And there will be the rivers and houses and there will be fruits and so on. Will there be it's Christians and Jews there? Those who followed what the Islamic narrative says, any Christian who followed the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him, and any Jew who followed the teachings of Moses, peace be upon him, as sent to Moses and Jesus, they will be in heaven. And they'll all get on. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, they, that's okay. the, that's the beauty. But Joshua and I, yes. we're, we're gone. That's yeah, Deborah, yes, Deborah, we're not going uh, That's the beauty. Just, yeah. did you, even, did, you must have grown up with a view of heaven, Deborah. No. Oh, you didn't? No, not, I seriously didn't. Oh, not in your household you didn't? No. It was a secular household? Yeah, it was a secular household. We, uh, heaven was never really mentioned. Heaven was like, oh, you know, chocolate truffles. With, uh, <laughs> yeah. Chocolate and so dark chocolate truffles. That's heaven. My yeah. concept uh, of heaven has I'm, always been a lot more fun than what you guys described. Yeah. And what could be more fun than perfect love, Josh? Oh, forever. It sounds exhausting. Chocolate. <laughs> 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 Okay, look, I think we're probably not going to get to the bottom of heaven tonight, but... <laughs>